it's uh, four o'clock in the morning and we're leaving for our next destination. Long ride and we still have to get there in the light to try to get the Olivacious Thornbill. Ugh. Four o'clock in the morning. altimeter stopped working at 16,090 feet, but our GPS in the car say, says that we're now at 16,500 feet. I think this is the highest I've ever been without an airplane. But uh, this is the other way of taking a COVID test. If any of us had gotten it, there is no way we could breathe up here. It is very cold here, and it's hard to believe a hummingbird thrives at this altitude. But the tiny red flowers that bloom on the ground must be filled with very sweet nectar because these flowers are the main food source for the olivaceous thornbill hummingbird. William got a very brief video of the bird, and I was not able to capture it in a photograph. We had one of Miguel and Baldomero's famous roadside lunches, but we had to pack up for the day when it started raining and then hailing. We've had a tough day. We spent most of the day at very high altitude. The, um, it started raining around 12.30, so we were cold and wet for most of the afternoon. It doesn't always go as planned, and we'll be after this bird again in a couple of days. Hopefully we'll have better luck next time. Morning came, and we did not expect this. It appears we're not going anywhere because traffic is blocked off in both directions, so we can't even get back to try to get the olivaceous thornbill. Stuff you run into. We were trying to get to Huning to film a new hummingbird, but we got caught up in some political dispute between the agricultural workers and uh, I mean, I'm not even sure what the whole thing was about, but they had the road blocked off again like they did yesterday. We got almost up to where the road was blocked off, so we have some very interesting footage of the whole incident.
Once the road was reopened, it was already too late to drive to our destination, so we went back to the hotel to continue again the next day.